Welcome to Mount Sinai South Nassau Hospital. We're here today to celebrate Go Red with a heart healthy cooking demonstration. Today we'll be preparing for you a Mediterranean quinoa salad. We're also doing dark chocolate covered strawberries to my right. And here in this cooking area we're going to do an American Bounty vegetable soup. So I'm really excited. We're going to be giving samples, recipes, our clinical teams here today. We're going to talk about all the ingredients and how they benefit uh, nutrition and the body. So one of the most important things with recipes is starting with quality product. So you can see over here, I have some really nice components for the soup. Now this soup has fresh corn in the cob that we roasted and grilled, then took it off the cob. We also grilled some chicken breasts, which we diced up. We have a fresh chicken stock going into the soup, so I start with my pot. I can feel it getting nice and hot. I got about a teaspoon of olive oil in there for a large quantity of soup. And I'm gonna first by adding my onions. And you wanna hear it, you wanna hear the sizzle. Caramelize those onions. And I'm gonna add my leeks. My celery. You know, when you make the soup, you know, one of the things we get the most compliments here at South Ma at Mount Sinai, excuse me, is our soups. And you know, when you're sick and you're in a hospital bed and you get a fresh chicken soup, flavorful and robust in taste, it helps to the recovery of our patients. So I'm gonna add just a tad more of oil. I need a little tiny bit of fat in the bottom to caramelize these vegetables. I also added some sweet potatoes to this. And some carrots. Now one of the key things with soups is to finish them off with some fresh garden herbs. And as you can see I have an array of herbs here which we've applied to the quinoa salad and also the soup. We're going to let these simmer up nice, brown lightly, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients, our corn, our peppers. I don't like to, certain vegetables, I don't like to overcook. I want them to be crisp and vibrant in color and hold all the nutrients in them. So it's important to know when to add them to a recipe. So you can see cooking nicely, we're going to sweat them down. And then if you're able to follow me over here, again, you can see the red, the yellow, the corn, very important. You know, a lot of times people make soup, they throw everything in a pot and they boil it. It's not how you make soup. So now I'm going to add my peppers, red and yellow. I'm going to add my corn, my grilled chicken, and my diced fresh tomato. Now look how colorful that is. And I haven't even added the broth to that. That's a meal in itself. On a cold winter day, you come home to a bowl of that with a nice crispy baguette. Call it dinner. So now that these vegetables have cooked and kind of ground and caramelized a little bit, I'm going to add some fresh chicken stock to it. And we're going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes. And in the essence of time, I'm going to finish the soup so you can see the final result. And what I like to put in the soup is some fresh herbs. I have some fresh parsley. I also have some fresh chives. And some fresh sage. 
We're not going to season with any salt because again, we're trying to cook healthy. The soup doesn't really need any pepper. But it really is a beautiful soup. Look at the colors. You see that? Beautiful. And here we have it. American Bounty Vegetable Soup. Enjoy. Yeah.